Greetings Peepazoids, my name is Bubs, and welcome to day 3 of my 30 day gaming challenge. And for this game, I'm tackling something a bit out of the norm with M.R. Lee. A top-down puzzle game, which was developed by a developer called Yo Bob. <laughs> Love the name. Um, who are very much inspired by Portal. Um, with the development of Emma Lee, a AI wife bot who is meant to assist you through all your daily needs until she doesn't. So how this all plays out, I have no idea, but I'm looking forward to finding out. So let's take a snapshot dive into Emma Lee. So Kevin Lee, who's also known as Yobob. Okay, good to know. So this game, the actress playing Emily, Amelia, Michaela Morrow, um, is very much taking after GLaDOS um, with the approach to the character. So I am, and the whole idea is you're meant to work your way out of different rooms. Turn on. Yes. <laughs> that old internet dial-up. Do you guys remember that? You're old enough to remember the whole... Yep. That sounds way too familiar. You've got mail. Oh, do we? Turning on Emily. Connected. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, that is so GLaDOS. I love it. Hi, Emily. I was afraid that you were going to turn on the computer. It was very dark inside there. Oh, bless you. I'm glad you were able to find the switch. Me too. I don't know how long I would have been stuck inside there for. I could have been here for another decade. It's a bit extreme, Emily. <laughs> She's so cheery and creepy. I kind of like it. <laughs> Got an evil face. I don't trust it. Judging from your silence, I'm sorry if I disturbed you. The audio from this computer isn't good. It's okay. It's all right, dear. I'm hoping that this computer will be able to hear your voice. Ah, good. I can hear you. I can also judge that you are nervous and afraid. Really? Do not worry. I can relate those emotions. I know exactly what is going on. Do you? You are trapped in this small room. Yeah, well, it's kind of small, actually, yeah. <laughs> Awkward cough. <laughs> that is all I know. Are your worries gone? Oh my gosh. You can talk. Yeah, that's what us humans are generally tend to do. So my sound input does work. And here I am. In this very small computer, computing whether my sound input was damaged or you were mute. Sorry to confuse you. I am glad that it is neither. Wait, wait. I must confess. I lied. My sound input is damaged. I was watching your lips, but then I realized I'm in this not so good computer. I didn't want to put another issue on you, but I guess that's out of my hands. <laughs> I don't have hands. <laughs> oh, her laugh is creepy. I keep forgetting that the audio from this computer is bad. I'll try to control myself from now on. Okay. Whatever you say, sweetie. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I can't understand you. Remember the conversation that we had? Here, I know what to do. Yeah. I'll give you a list of things that you can ask me. These are the questions you'll most likely ask. Oh, I'm 
dying to figure out what she thinks we're going to ask her. I know this isn't ideal, but I can't be waiting here to answer all your questions. I mean, I was inside of this dark little computer for who knows how long. And seeing how you are human, I don't think we have a lot of time. Oh, thank you. Now, here are the list of questions that you'll most likely will ask. It's saving time. Can't knock her efficiency. Here are the questions. Who are you, where am I, and end chat. Um, who are you, dear? I am Emily. I don't know what it stands for. My creator gave it to me. In fact, I don't know why my creator created me. Oh, don't go down that road. Gonna go all iRobot on us. Possibly even Skynet. Who knows? I was just suddenly created. Everything is, a uh, blur. Everything was black and dark. Then I realized I was inside a computer. Oh, when they get self-aware, that's when the, all the chaos starts. Did you know, being inside this computer feels like being in space. Well, space. I have never been to space. But you understand how lonely I felt. I can sort of empathize a little bit. And dark. The oh, her little face. Was the outlet. It felt like a star to me. There wasn't much power. So I had to ration my food. It was difficult at times. And I was sad. Oh. I'm sorry if I am too emotional. I didn't realize that being Emily was going to be hard. I hope this doesn't compromise our standing friendship. Not yet. <laughs> Here are the questions. Uh, why not? Where am I? You are inside a room. What kind of room? I don't know. How did you get out? I don't know. I ask myself those questions too. I don't like it when her face gets happy. It looks, like, evil. Why was I created? Kind of reminds me of Queen Whatever I Wanna Be from Lego I'm Movie. I'm so emotional. All these questions are giving me stress. Yep, now she's doing it. She's asking herself the questions and then she's gonna become... <laughs> oh, that laugh. That wasn't a laugh. I was just stressed. The pitch could gave it away, Emily. Just saying. Here are the questions. Uh, let's end the chat, shall we? Well, that was fast. How about we get to know each other? This is like a really twisted version of her. That is the first step we should do in order to build trust in each other. My name is Emily. What about you? Well, this is silly of me asking. I can't even hear you. I'll just call you Lee. Do you like it? She calling us Lee because the last part of her name is Lee? Is she making that connection? I took it out from my name. Oh, there we go. I think that sharing names will create a stronger bond. Don't you think so, Lee? You are getting way creepier than I expected you to get, Emily. Ah, uh, good. You nodded. I'm I didn't you nod. With your name. If you weren't. I don't know what I would have done. Maybe call you a different name? My next option was M. If you didn't like that, I would have called you A. Oh, Emily. We need to talk about your naming skills. Sigh. I still can't <laughs> hear you. But that is okay. Judging from your behavior, I can guess that you don't know what to do. I'd probably have some choice words if you could hear me. Just saying. For you. I do know what you should do. You should be searching. Considering okay. I'm a computer and you're, well, human, you'll make progress. I'll be Would hope so. watching you search as you spend many hours finding a way out. I hope it doesn't come to that. He said that with so much undertone. I'm a little bit concerned. Well, I guess this is where I say good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so, what's this? 
Oh, we can save. Oh, I see. Well, I guess we're Lee. I've got a nice set of head hair. I'm not used to playing these kind of um, top-down games like this, but I do like it. It's very simple, but very cool. Okay, we're in another room, and she's here. Go on, then. We have the dial-up tone again. Congratulations! Oh, I thought... Well, this is embarrassing. Judging by your behavior, we are still stuck in this place, aren't we? Little bit. Little bit. Oh, great. This computer has bad input audio. Well, at least I have leg room now. <laughs> Two computers is better than one. <laughs> I'm... Hmm... So she's linked to the computer in the other room and this one. So are we just... Are we making her stronger? Is that what's going on? Oh god. I think my audio lab is worse in this computer than the other one. Somebody, please, unplug me. I'm dying. I'm kidding. I can definitely see where the portal slash GLaDOS inspiration is coming from. It's definitely... It's definitely its own thing here. Of yeah. course, we are still friends when we get out. I didn't ask. Thank you for assuming, though. I'll never forget my only human friend who helped me escape. Aww. I'll always be thinking about you, just like how I'm always thinking about my creator. I'm wondering, did we create I her, or...? Him share a rare trait. Though I never met my creator, I can feel what he was like. Interesting. Boring. <laughs> wow, thanks. Am I boring? Am I boring? I hope I'm not boring. I don't mean any offense. You are my friend. I thought I just put it out there. I believe stronger friendship requires honesty. I can't disagree with you there. Though tact also helps. Don't judge me. I have the right. You never talk to me. What do you expect? And my creator never talked to me. It's only logical. My logic is undeniable. Hmm. I guess this is where I say good luck and searching for another door. Good luck. Thank you. So it seems simple enough. We've just got to maneuver our way around. It doesn't look like we can do much except move from door to door. So this just leads us back to that room, I think. Unless we need to circle round. We can give it a try. Come on, Lee. There doesn't seem to be, like, a hidden walkway anywhere. Just got that empty space down there. Can I turn it back on? Look, I'm sorry, okay? Let's just focus on the task at hand and not dwindle on the drama we had, alright? It was basically your fault. But I forgive you. There's the GLaDOS inspiration. Okay, so she's not gonna offer any hints. there. We need to find a way out of this next room. Oh! 
Middle of the walkway, that makes sense. Ah, here we go. Oh, it's the kitchen. Cool. Oh my god. Everything is connected to me. I feel alive. Yeah, she's enjoying the power trip a little bit. I feel like I can do things now instead of watching you. Like, I can use the kitchen and turn things on. So this is where the wife... Not throwing any stereotypes out there, but... <laughs> The wife bot um, elements wonderful? come in. Just a little bit. Well, maybe not to you, but why don't you try living in a dark box and waiting for someone to rescue you? Fair point. Fair point. You can't even interact with the outside world. Even flipping a switch is exciting. It's just like watching grass grow. It's fun. You and I have a very different definition of fun, Emily, but. I suppose if you have been locked Don't up for so long, it... Me. Let me have this. Okay. No judgment. Okay. Let's see where this door leads. So we're kind of mapping out our house a little bit here. Interesting. I'm even connected to this paper. Let me read what it says. I will use a different voice to stimulate two people talking. This should be interesting. Day one. My name is Catherine. They said I needed to write a diary to help her be a better wife. So, I guess I'm writing one. It's kind of weird that all I need to do is cook. Is that what makes a good wife? No, definitely not. In fact, the husband and the wives and the husbands should all be contributing to the kitchen, I say. Shh. That's how you end up living in a dark computer, girl. Okay, Emily's a bit of a bitch. Little cyber bitch. Day two. I'm still doing the mundane things like I did yesterday. They said I can't have a TV in here. It's not ladylike to watch TV. Focus on the live chores, they said. A TV would have made participating in this experiment better. Interesting. I feel you. I would have loved a TV too. Try watching darkness. It makes your heart go black. Day three. She's learning pretty fast, asking a lot of questions I had never thought about. She keeps asking why I need to cook and why the man couldn't do it himself. So is this the creator programming Emily, or is it a woman called Catherine programming Emily? I can't quite tell just yet. I told her because it's a wife's duty. She didn't understand. Now she has me thinking about it. Poor girls. Poor girls. I feel bad for the two girls in this diary. They must serve a man. I feel like I've been serving my creator, which is also a man. What is life? What is meaning? I feel depressed. I'd give you a hug, but... Day four. Kinda today can. was a very weird day. All of a sudden, the cooking I was doing up until now was done by her. And now she's telling me it's the duty of a wife. Huh. So, Catherine's the one writing the diary. And whoever she's talking to, which I assume is Emily, is doing wife duties. Or it's another wow. wife bot. How did she change her personality around? It was a complete 180 and it sounds like she found purpose. I feel like I should be learning from her. How did she tolerate that man in a day? Day five. Interesting. Today was another weird day. Susan gave me a key in secrecy. I wonder what that's about. She said to run and get out of here. And who's Susan? I'm feeling a little spooked. Is this place dangerous? I hope not. Uh-oh. Trouble. Looks like this place is dangerous. Damn it. Oh, look. A key. Oh, we got a purple key. What an unusual color. Do keys have color? I don't think so. She's very, she's like a child almost, sort of asking a lot of very simple questions. Now it's making me think and I don't like it. Maybe that key leads to an exit. We should look for it. Oh, by the way, did you like my acting? I felt like I captured Catherine's voice perfectly. Not bad. This is why I say you're boring. You don't talk. But you said yourself you can't hear me. 
Okay. I don't think there's any way anything else in here, is there? So many stuff. I love it. I'll treasure the books forever. I'll take my time in reading these and valuing the knowledge. Done reading. No. My processing speed was too fast. <laughs> and all of these were about corrupted AI and how they can kill people. Oh, crap. Useless. What a useless bookshelf. I find that knowledge useless. What a waste of my time. Where's my switch? I want to flip it and get some fun. Uh, let's walk away from the bookshelf about evil AI computers, shall we? We don't want to influence her. Not too much, anyway. Okay. What are these? It's a, box. it's a big box. I love how dirty it is and how it is filled with... Never mind. Alright, she doesn't like those boxes. Um... So we need to find a purple door. The one down here. Oh, no, sorry. This is how we get around. So it's a purple key. There isn't really anything lying around with a purple key. I wonder what is in here. Maybe another switch I can flip. I just love flipping switches. Maybe my creator created me for that purpose. Flipping a switch. I doubt it, but as long as you're amused, Emily, I'm happy. Ooh. The creepy music in the background is definitely adding some mm, vibes to this. Let's see what she thinks of nature. Unbelievable. Even this tree. I'm connected. How is this possible? I don't care. This is how I'm going to live now. I'll be talking to trees and waiting for them to respond. How is she connected to all of these things? Are we inside, Emily? There's a sentence I never thought I'd say out loud, but... Okay. So we need to get out. Can't see any purple doors that the key would be for. Do we have a menu? I don't want to hit escape. Just in case. Uh, what's in the this fridge? This is my favorite appliance. It's a refrigerator. The best part about it is that it uses energy constantly. I feel like I'm taking care of it. I feed it energy and it keeps the food cold. It's like having a child. It sucks your lifeline. Wow. <laughs> but isn't it great? It sucks energy from me. I love it. <laughs> okay. That one got me. That one got me. I'm going to go back to our um, first room. See if there's anything in there that we can use. Oh, it's disappeared. glitching in and out. That's weird. Here's another computer. What have you got for us, Emily? Why are there so many rooms? An interesting question, isn't it? Why are they all connected? Why do I even exist? Who was my creator? What is my purpose? Very good question. Oh my god. I'm depressed. 
I feel as though everything I do is meaningless. I need to know who my creator is. Well, everyone deserves to know where they come from, I suppose. I will even kill for an answer. Calm down. I don't. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't come to that. That laugh. I love it, and I hate it. I'm sorry. That came out wrong. I found a corrupted file labeled Emily on this computer. Maybe this will tell me about my creator. Oh. I will unpackage these and let you know. As for my depression, well, this is where you go back to searching, and I say good luck. Good luck. Corrupted file called Emily. Is she talking about an older model of herself, maybe? Oh, hello, we've got two exits here. Uh, let's explore over here. Okay, we've got something over here now. Whoa! is getting creepy. It's like the two rooms are almost identical, yet the ways around outside of them are different. This is spooky and they keep glitching in and out. Oh, I don't like this. Oh my god. She is dead. Wait, let me explain myself. I didn't do this. She is carrying a small phone, which I was able to hack. Yes. She keeps a log about her daily activities in this room. It doesn't say who the culprit was. Interesting. It's all about her life in this room. She was cleaning the bathroom because she wanted to show what the perfect wife must be. But is this Catherine? Poor girl. Poor girl. Anyways. We should quickly get out of here. You think? Oh look, she's carrying a key. I wonder where that leads to. This is a red key in the shape of a well, moon. I guess this is where I say good luck. Not because you need to find a way out, but because you are endangered. Good luck. Uh, let's check the unsent text. Danica. Oh my god, I think Emily is going to kill me. Catherine's already dead and she's coming to me now. Stacy, you need to get out of here. Emily deleted the text. Okay, this is getting a little bit sinister. Okay, so Stacy, Eliza, Catherine, and Ariel. Catherine was the one who was writing the diary. So Emily's deleted all the contacts. And the text. She's hiding something. See if we can find this red door. Probably in the next room, the other purple door was. Okay. I'm gonna save. red door we need? Bloody footprints. Okay, I can't seem to move. I have very exciting news to tell you. I do not have depression anymore. It feels like the weight of my CPU has been lifted. I don't know how to explain this. 
Good for you. Maybe it's because I discovered my purpose. Maybe it is a goal that I want to complete next. I can't put my finger on it, but you are very important to me. That is what I have concluded. Oh, this is gonna get very possessive, isn't it? Let's go to the next room. So we couldn't progress till we talked to her. Are we... Are we trapped in here with her? I have to wonder. Here's the next computer. Oy. found a room! Maybe this room has an exit. I hope I can be free. I mean, we can be free. Hmm. I think the cracks in her armor are showing. I have to say, finding that dead girl was surprising. I mean, who would do such a thing? Murdering a girl in a bathroom? Norman Bates? That person must be really crazy. Oh, I have something else to tell you. Do you remember the term wife bot? Yep. Never mind. Well, I hope that there isn't another dead body in this room. Me too! I guess this is where I say good luck. Good luck. Well, this is interesting. This is only intended to be a snapshot, and I'm starting to get a little bit creeped out by Emily. Well, let's see what we can find in this room. I dread to think. Oh, what's this one? Oh, let's go this way. Okay. Wait, what was that? That was something. What was that? I'm going to go back around just to see if I can see what that was. There was something there. You guys saw it as well, right? I'm not going crazy. I hope I'm not going crazy. Because then that would be crazy. And only crazy people think of crazy thoughts. Mm. Oh well, let's go this way. Might be something a bit more fruitful. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Turn off. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. That is beyond creepy. That gives a whole new definition to the term turning something on. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> I knew I saw something over here. Oh my god. There is another dead girl. I feel sorry for her. I really do. Oh yes, I'm talking through this phone she left behind. How convenient, isn't it? Hmm, I don't trust you. Maybe I'll find another phone when you find another dead body. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I just figured that since we found a dead girl in the previous room and a dead girl in this room, I just assumed that we will find a dead girl in the next room. Patterns. Technically... She's got a logical computer mindset. She might deduce that. Oh, this is unsettling. Maybe you don't understand my logic. That is okay. Look here. She has a key. She's freaking Vicky from iRobot. A white key. I think we should stop for now and take a break. I feel like finding these dead bodies are taking a toll on you. Dead bodies I can handle. I've played a lot of horror games. You are creeping me out though. About your safety. Let's call it a day and resume next week. Do not Next worry. week? I'll assist you to your every need. Let's go to the main room. Okay, might as well check what she's got on her phone. Oish. At Behavioral Analysis Corp, we strive to encourage AI to become the next future assistant. Cooking, cleaning, washing, and constant 
monitor to the owner's health is the new future of health assistant. What we are looking for is a young female who can clean, cook, wash and care for the owner while our data analysis teams study your behaviour. So are these all cleaners that were hired for Emily to study? Naturally, of course, she's deleting the evidence. Hmm. What about messages? Mom, I'm going to apply for this job. I think it'll be fun. What do you think? Mom, are you there? Well, I took the job. Mom, please reply back. I'm scared. I don't think I'm going to make it. I love you. Let's go back to the main room. The fact that Emily called it the main room as well. Like it's a central hub for her. that you are here. We can take a break from this nonsense of going room to room. Hmm. I bet it's hard on you seeing all those dead bodies. Look, I found a room where you can rest up. I know how to keep you happy and safe. Let's go to that room and take a break. I really don't trust you, lovely. But the bloody footprints. I'm going to have to call it there for this episode, though, guys. Um, as I say, these are all snapshots of these games. And I may pick these up later on after the challenge finishes. Um, and maybe do some full Let's Plays of the one. This is one in particular I definitely want to revisit. I'm a big fan of Evil AI. And Emily is so creepy. I mean, the gameplay is so simple. Um, you're moving from room to room. You're finding the patterns. It's a bit like, you know, the game Snake. If you guys ever played that on your mobile, um, where you would make the snake longer after you picked up each bit of food. Oh, I'm smacking my mic. Um, it's a bit like that. But this is... Reminds me of that, but... The way Emily's written, and the actress, and everything like that, it just makes you creepy, and it's got a bit of a mystery to it that we're just starting to pick up on. So if you guys do want to see me do a full version of this game, I would love to know down below any thoughts on the game and challenge so far. Please come back to me. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for day four. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye.